Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I wanted to just really, really quick, this is not gonna take a lot of time at all. I wanted to make a video very, very quickly on Etsy and the video that I made yesterday. Uh, yesterday I was talking about and I was stressing how important it is to understand that, in, at least in my opinion, I, I can't speak for everybody, but I could definitely speak for myself. And I've said this before, but history kind of repeats itself and Etsy seems like because of the decisions they're making and the money that they need to make as a company, they're making decisions that are really uh, more beneficial for Etsy in the short term versus the long term. And I went over what those decisions are and how it's going to hurt the platform of the future. And I basically said that uh, this is the beginning of the end for Etsy, in my opinion. Um, I don't see it improving. I don't see it getting better. Um, unless certain things happen, but I don't once again think those things are actually going to happen that will help Etsy grow. Uh, because once again, Etsy's putting its short term growth ahead of its long term. With that being said, I posted that video yesterday, but I don't want to give um, a wrong message uh, because I know people don't watch the whole entire video and it's a long if video, obviously. I'm just going to skip this ad. Um, but I, I think some people in the comments kind of got the wrong idea. And I didn't reply to all of them, obviously, but people are getting sometimes the wrong idea, and I don't want to give people that wrong idea. Um, I've said it that Etsy, yes, as a platform, is going in the wrong direction. It's going to make it harder for sellers to be able to actually sell and make money. What I'm not saying is that you should quit, though. I, I never want to be a YouTube channel that promotes people to quit or to move away from something. To me, that's the worst decision you can make. Even if a platform is not giving you your um, uh, the best capability to grow, and they might actually be hurting you as a seller, I never, I'm never going to sit here and give people the advice that they should just close something down and walk away from it. Uh, I always think there's ways around things, and I think there's ways that you can make money. Um, ironically enough, today was actually one of my record days on Etsy sales. But once again, I'm not saying that because I'm controlled by the whims of my sales. I'm simply just saying the same message that I said yesterday towards the end of the video, which I know, once again, not everybody sees all videos to the end. I mean, I get to see the stats, um, but I want to stress how important it is to understand that you should use any platform that will help you for a short period of time, for a long period of time, doesn't matter. Just keep it in your brain that you're using these platforms. They're not using you. Put it that way. And the reason why I say that is because I, th I don't remember how long ago it was. It could have been in two years ago. It could have been a number of years ago. It could have been last year. But when Redbubble started to make changes, and I'm not going to say names, but there were certain creators that acted like they were closing and deleting their Redbubble accounts and walking away from it. This is Redbubble, for example, right? Um, it just doesn't make sense. It was. It's a stupid message to spread to people that, oh, you should close your business down because the company's not working in your best interest. You have to put yourself first and you have to look at your bank account and you have to look at your income sources. If you're making money from something, especially if it doesn't take you know a lot of time to operate, don't close it down just because the platform is not treating you well, right? Use it to, its adv to your advantage. And when you want to let go of it, let go of it. But don't let go of it because they're not treating you the way you should be. If it's especially if it's producing income for you, you know, I, I'm like I said, I'm going to stress this again. I'm never going to motivate someone to close down a certain business, to end a certain business. If it's producing income for you, you should run it. But just realize that it's not going to exist for you forever, and they don't have your best interest in mind. Whether it comes to Etsy, whether it comes to Redbubble or any other platform out there, your, your best interest is not in their mind. The best interest of their, of their financials is what they have in mind. They want to make sure they're going to make money. Sometimes people like me and you will be the uh, essentially the scapegoat of that price to pay. But you have to understand that you come first. You have to be able to make as much money as you possibly can. You know, um, now, obviously, if you feel some sort of cathartic feeling that you you feel like you don't want to be on the platform anymore, that's a completely different conversation. And I actually would encourage people to try to push your emotions to the side, even though you hate doing something and do it anyway, because it's going to help you at the end of the day financially. 
With that being said, my final message in that video, which was yesterday's video, and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see it, but my final message was diversification. And I spoke about how, you know, part of the reason why we build a lot of resentment towards a certain platform is partially because we depend on it in some sort of way. And to give this example, I want to give you guys the perfect example, Merch by Amazon. When I was doing Merch by Amazon, I was doing very, very well, very, very quickly. In fact, if I had to guess, it would be record times of how good I was doing compared to other people. I reached tier 500 in, in a few months, a couple months, and I was doing very well. I was making sales. When I got a second account, I had um, literally in the first week like $80 uh, in sales, literally in the first week of that second account. Second week was maybe double, and then the accounts got deleted. I got banned off of Merch by Amazon. Um, I didn't feel any kind of way whatsoever. I didn't get mad. I didn't get sad. Uh, I, the, the first account was generating something like an extra 600 bucks, $800, um, it, you know, weekly. It wasn't something that was, uh, and this is once again, a tier 500 account. This wasn't something that I completely felt bad about. I really didn't, honestly, I, I, I want to say I didn't even care. You could actually go back and watch those videos there's no way in my voice did I sound sad, did I sound depressed, and I actually said, you know, I said, it doesn't affect me whatsoever. Why? Because I never relied on it. I never had some sort of hope and dream about it. I never put it as one of these things that was a requirement for me to do, and more importantly, I've always had diversified my assets in terms of other businesses producing other income. I never really depended on any one thing. So, it didn't affect me, not even a minute. I didn't lose a single minute of sleeping, uh, of, of sleep over that situation. So in the same case for everybody listening, everybody watching, don't put yourself in a position where you can become a victim to a platform, even if it's your highest income producing platform. I would take a pay cut of 50% as long as I know that that income is being diversified from all different sources. For example, if I was making 20 grand from Etsy a month, I'd rather make 10 grand and take it from all different sources aside from Etsy. If I was making even five grand a month, I would rather take 2,500 as long as that money is diversified from other platforms because I know, and you probably know, that at any moment, with the snap of a finger, you can be erased off the platform. There's no appeal, they're not gonna get you back in there. I mean, of course you can try to appeal, but what are the chances of you actually being reinstated on the platform? And all your work coming back to you. It doesn't really happen too often. A lot of stories like that don't have actually happy endings. So my point is, is if you don't own the platform, you're always on the chopping block. Use the platform to your best ability. Don't sit there and quit on it, right? Don't quit on it regardless of the situation. But use it to your best ability. I'm not going to keep this video longer than it has to. I've said my piece. I've said what I had to say. Um... I'll leave links in the description to our, our paid courses, our free members area you could join that have free lessons, which could be your guide to starting di to diversify your income, whether it be uploading stock photography images that you could use AI to make, or even you want to maybe get a camera and start shooting photos. Uh, I'll, I'll put up some, like I said, the free lessons, T Public, Redbubble, Society6 different lessons, SEO, Shopify, Instagram type stuff. Check those videos out. Check those lessons out. The free stuff, the paid stuff. Start with the free. All right. Uh, I'll leave links in the description pod.com, autopilotpassiveincome.com. You guys could get started working on diversification. Come up with a game plan for the rest of this year to actually start diversifying and see income from other strategies. Because, guys, that's the safest strategy. And keep in mind, this is just the beginning. The whole AI, uh, you know, as AI improves, as technology improves, polarization becomes stronger and stronger. The gap between the people who are extremely successful and not successful at all is going to become larger and larger. There's going to be less people in between. And once again, because it's access to the technology, the technology is going to change how essentially the, the financials, it's going to change the financials dramatically. There's people who are going to once again be massively successful and people who aren't. But one of the things that you could do to hedge is just diversify. Put Have your hands in many different baskets producing you even a little bit. Every penny counts. That's kind of one of my little quotes here. Every penny counts. Every single penny that you make as an income counts. 
All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, short video. I wasn't trying to say much here. I just wanted to make sure I clarified very clearly what I meant in last video. And of course, not everybody watches the videos till the end. So I just figured I'd say that. All right, I'll see you soon. Peace out. Bye.